हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बाय जोस एग्जाम प्रेप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन एप फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल सीरीज दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग न्यूट्रल फंक्शन एंड सेल्फ ड्यूअल फंक्शन सो विदाउट वेटिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट so before starting let me introduce myself my name is anshul sharma i have 2 plus years of experience in gate 2020 i have secured all india rank 294 cleared isro and nilet exams mentored more than 1000 students as of now and these are my area of expertise so let's proceed <clears throat> also if you want to join if you want to connect with me you can join this telegram group this is the link cs underscore by underscore anshul underscore sir you will be getting all pdfs of my technical classes doubt clearances and if you need any guidance then also you are most welcome so what are neutral functions so neutral function is a function in which number of min terms is equal to number of max terms now let's say you have n functions you have n variables you have n boolean variables so if you have n boolean variables how many combinations are possible 2 raised to the power n for example let's say n is equal to 2 so we can have let's say a or b we can have 0 0 we can have 0 1 we can have 1 0 we can have 1 1 that means 2 raised to the power n combinations are possible so if you have n variables 2 raised to the power n combinations will be possible correct now out of these 2 raised to the power n combinations we have half as the min terms and half as the max terms that means if we need to find number of neutral function so that will be equal to out of total 2 raised to the power n we have to select half of it half of it so we can say 2 raised to the power n by 2 or we can write it as 2 raised to the power n combination 2 raised to the power n minus 1 so that means this is the number of neutral functions we will be getting if we have n boolean variables clear let's proceed now now let's talk about what are self dual functions now self dual function means when a function is equal to its dual then it's called self dual what is duality let's first discuss that now in case of duality your zero will be converted into one your 1 will be converted into a 0 and operation will be converted into or and or operation will be converted into and this is different from complement in case of complement you have all these things but apart from that you also have this thing let's say you have a boolean variable so that will be converted into a complement if you have a complement that will be converted into a so this is the addition that you have in the complement but this is duality 0 into 1 1 into 0 and into or or into and so this is your duality so when a function is equals to its dual let's say let's take one example this is a function of three variables a b and c and we have ab plus bc plus ca clear now if i take dual of this function if i take dual of this function what are, what what do i get a or b right because we have and operation between a and b so that will be converted into or this or will be converted into and so we will be getting b or c and here i will be getting c or a now these two functions are equal how we can prove it these are equal so you can also simplify this one and you will be getting this function again clear so this is the example of self dual function now which functions are self dual so to understand that we need to see this there are two conditions a boolean function is said to be self dual if and only if that means whenever it is written if and only if that means it is a necessary and sufficient condition so if and only if the first condition is it is a neutral function that means number of min terms is equal to number of max terms that means a function will be self dual the first condition it has to satisfy that it has to be a neutral function right this is the second condition the function that does not contain two mutually exclusive terms now what is mutually exclusive terms let's understand this through one example <clears throat> let's say this we have let's say three variables or uh, three variable function a b and c right how many combinations will be possible 2 raised to the power 3 combinations will be possible that means 8 so you can have from 0 0 0 to all ones right so eight combinations are possible from 0 to 7 now we know this if a function has to be self dual right half of the uh, it has to be neutral function that means half of the terms will be min terms and half of it will be your max terms and the second condition is it should not contain two mutually exclusive terms now what is mutually exclusive terms 
So for zero, we have this combination triple zero. For seven, we have this combination triple one. If I take the complement of this combination, I will be getting this one only. That means zero comma seven. These are two mutually exclusive terms, right? Similarly, if you take the complement of this combination zero zero one, you will be getting one one zero. So that means one comma six are two mutually exclusive terms. Similarly, we can say two comma five are two mutually exclusive terms, and we can say three comma four as well. Are two mutually exclusive terms. Now we have formed these pairs, so we can say if it has to contain only one out of these two mutually exclusive mutually exclusive terms. So we can say that out of these two, either you can have a zero or you can have seven, right? That means you have two choices. Two choices you have. Similarly, for these two mutually exclusive terms, either it can have one or it can have six. Again, two choices. similarly for this one as well it has two choices similarly for this one as well it has two choices so how many pairs we are forming if we have two raised to the power n combinations out of these two raised to the power n combinations the number of pairs we are forming for mu two mutually exclusive terms will be how many half of it that means two raised to the power n minus 1 Because if we have eight combination, out of that four pairs are forming zero, seven, one, six, two, comma, five, and three, comma, four. Clear? So number of pairs will be two raised to the power n minus one. Now every pair, every pair is having two choices. Either it can include zero in the expression or it can include seven. Similarly, one or six, two or five, three or four. That means two choices every pair is having. And how many pairs we have? Two raised to the power n minus one pairs we have. So how many self-dual functions will be possible? That is going to be two raised to the power two raised to the power n minus one. These many number of self-dual functions possible. These many number of self-dual functions possible. now if we try to establish the relation between neutral function and self dual function so can we say if a function is self dual definitely it will be neutral because this is the one of the necessary condition to be a self dual function that first it has to be a neutral function then only we talk about two mutually exclusive terms concept right so if a function is self dual definitely it will be neutral function but if a function is neutral it may or may not be self dual function so this is the relation between neutral functions and self dual functions so i hope this concept is clear to you and i will see you in the next video till then take care and also if you want to get the pdf of all my classes you can join this telegram group right and do subscribe to byju's exam prep youtube channel so that you don't miss any notification and any update also the the technical classes that we are conducting so so that you don't miss those classes as well okay so subscribe to byju's exam prep youtube channel we'll see you in the next video thank you